I'm here at the 9-11 uh, site and it's very emotional because right in front of me I see a name and the last name is Nelson. This is a name of someone who died on the day the terrorists took down the buildings. I grew up as a kid in New York for about four years and I used to play on the Twin Towers. So it, it, it's very emotional. There's a flower here that someone put to remember a loved one by. There are so many things that happen to us in life. Sometimes we do things that are, that are destructive to ourselves and it causes us to short circuit in life and give up. Or maybe there's the things that other people do, maybe even evil things that they do to us and it stops us in life and we don't move forward and we, we miss our purpose and, and our destiny. Every one of us matters. Every one of us has a unique purpose and destiny that's needed in this world. But somehow so many of us give up. That's why I've written a book called Child of the King. Imagine one day if, if you've lived all your life as, as a person who is in poverty and, and struggling and then all of a sudden you find out one day that you are an heir to a king and not just any king, the most powerful king in the whole world who has everything at their disposal and you find out now you have the same thing. This book is about a journey. It's been my journey from being broken and destroyed to finding renewed life and hope and purpose and destiny. And just like this site around us is beautiful, the destruction has been taken away. They're building new buildings all around. New life is springing up. There's hope for me and there's hope for you. And so I want to invite you on the journey. There's going to be videos that you'll be able to watch. And I want to invite you to check out the book, Child of the King, because it's a reminder. It's not just about me. It's about you have a tremendous inheritance and you are a child of the King.